Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to download a custom font to our Shopify team. It doesn't matter if you have Dawn or the old teams, it's going to work the same way. So you can download the font, um, any font for free from any of the lists that I have in my website, but I do want to show you how to have a free font. So we're going to go to the font. And in the font here, you have to make sure you, you check this one free for personal use. It means you can't use it for commercial. Use. So you can choose whatever font you want. So for me, I'm just going to do handwritten. And then in here, you have more options and make sure you click 100% free. So you can have a commercial use of your font. And then you click submit. And example, um, we'll try this love. And we're going to download this file and it's going to have TTF file or OTF format. And if you like this font, please let the author know and donate so they keep creating new fonts. So I have this love uh, font and then open it up. So we have to extract this one from the zip file. So we're going to go downloads and then right click on the file and make sure you extract all. So for it to expose the TTF file. So we go to our cloud convert. So in here, we're going to choose TTF. So you can do OTF or Wolf, whatever you want. Then you have to choose the uh, WOFF2. I do recommend you guys to convert your font files to WOFF2 since it's, it's a smaller file, so it makes your website performance better. It doesn't slow down your website. So in here, I'm just going to select file and I'm going to use this TTF and then click open and then click convert. And then we'll just have to wait for it to uh, finish and then click download. Now it becomes a love dot uh, two file. Now we have the right font format. So we're just going to go to our uh, Shopify admin store. And in here, you click online store and teams. And I'm just going to edit the Dawn team that I just downloaded 18 minutes ago and click actions and then edit code. I'm just going to expand my uh, screen. So we're going to open our asset folder and add a new asset. And I'm going to choose a file. I'm not going to have the TTF file. We're looking for the WOFF2 file. So we're just going to download this one. So click that and then click open. And then upload asset. Now we should see our file right here. Next thing we're going to do is to go to our team.liquid, which is under the layout folder. And we're going to open our website and then copy the code format I have in here. So click to copy and we're going to go here um, where the style tag is. So you can do it any part of head of your team.liquid. So make sure you're not below this um, closing head tag. So it's anywhere in here as long as you have that style and then the end style. So you can create your own so you can have um, have a style in here if you don't have them. And then in it with the end style. And then we can put our code right here. And I'm just going to highlight it and shift tab to format. So the font family name is whatever you want it to be. So for me, I'm going to have it custom font. So this is the name that you're going to call inside your CSS file or your style sheet. It doesn't matter what name you want. Uh, the only thing that matters is the URL. So we have to direct this URL path to our asset folder or asset file that we have. So we have love that uh, wolf too. So we're going to copy that. So make sure you have the same name. So love that wolf too and if you have a format wolf uh just wolf and not wolf too just change this and then um click save but for me i have wolf too so i'm just going to format it on wolf too 
and then click save. And that's all you have to do to download this to your um, Shopify team. Now we're going to use this to our website. So example, um, when we click preview and uh, just right click to any text you want. So right click and click inspect. And see when I hover on this uh, HTML and my inspect tool, it um, highlights the corresponding H2. So in here, we can type on the element that style. We can add a font family and I call mine as custom font. See, that really works real well. So what you can do is to call this specifically, you can right click on this uh, three dots and then copy selector. But this is only for a specific part of your um, website. So we copy selector and then we're going to go to our global CSS file. You should know your uh, global CSS file. Um, for Dawn team, it's base.css. For other teams, it might be uh, team.scss or team.css. But for Dawn, I have base.css. Now we're going to go down. And then we're going to add this code right here. Control V to paste. And then I'm just going to have a uh, font, family, I name my font as custom font. So that should work. And when we preview our team again, it should work. So what if you want it to apply to this banner, image banner right here, you have to call that selector. So you can right click to inspect and then we're going to call this. So this one is called a uh, banner heading with an H zero as a class so we're going to call that one so it's a class so we have to start with a dot and then in our h zero we're going to move closer to the banner um, underscore underscore heading and then we're going to put a dot and then one family custom one and then click save and when we preview it again it should have the same font. So if you want to apply it to the, all the H2, you might have to call the um, exclamation important. So you override all of the um, font family that your team has. So like if we, if we call all the H1 and H2 and H3 and H4, this is not going to work if you already have a font family assigned to them. So example, I'm going to have custom font and then click set. And when we preview again, so example, this feature product should have an H2, but it doesn't work since if we go to our computed um, style, it's already have its own font family. So to override that, you have to call the specific selector or you can do type um, exclamation then important. So to override all of the previous font family style that your team has. So when we click preview again, it should override all of our team um, H1 to H4. And see guys, when you do a reload, it already reload the font. That's the reason why I want to put it on a team that liquid. So the font get reload before anything else. And that's all guys. That's all you have to do to put a custom font to your website. And if you have any question, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.